All right, welcome back to space, the final frontier, the undiscovered country. Let's get back to the horizons. Now it's Jen's turn again. And what is she going to do? Uh, let's see, she still doesn't have the three energy she needs to take advantage of exploring. So, I think Jen, right off the bat, is if she builds again and puts another energy here, She's got the resources. Then, I mean, when she harvests, she'd only get two. That's not quite enough. Hmm. Oh. Wow. You know what I think Jen hasn't done yet? She's going to conspire. I've done it a couple times now, which gives her two missions or an agent in a mission. Jen is looking around. She wants to get this general who, whenever she builds with him on staff, she can get two agents or five or that she might need to be able to build with. So that's handy. So, and so she got him and she gets one new mission, uh, Frozen. Have a structure on five or more Frozen plants. So again, this is a mission that's not gonna be that great in a two player game. So that was her first of two actions. She conspired and she got no bonuses for that. Um, now, her second action is she will build. She is gonna build her second energy facility here, um, which costs, you know, to build an energy facility here costs one ore and one energy. And she will activate the general she just hired, because um, she's built, to either get two more agents or five ore. Let's see, does she, are there two more agents? She has space for two more agents. Does she want to recruit two agents, which is really awesome. That can give her a lot of flexibility. Um, oh, this is interesting. Uh, you know, the, uh, if she hires this trader, but here's the problem. She's used up all her resources. Um, she is going to take the five ore. She, but if she, if she had this trader, it's the same as the one I have. She can spend ore to get energy um, whenever she harvests. So she could build up more energy to use this scientist a little bit more effectively when she explores. But right now, she's completely out of resources, so she's just going to take five ore. One, two, three, four, five. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing she can build only with ore. But I think next time she's going to harvest. So this turn, she conspired and then she um, built, right? She built there and she used the old general. All right, so those are her two turns. My two turns again. Okay, Jen still hasn't built on my green. I still have a chance. Can, can I do it? What do I need? Um, I need a better builder to help me build. Right, so again, I would need um, four, five, six, seven. I need eight energy total, which I do have, and I need four. Oh, I do. I can do it. All right. I'm going to try, and hopefully Jen is going to stay away from my planet. This turn, all I'm going to do is build, build, build. All righty. So first of all, um, and I've got my builder, but I'm not going to use his power because his power is convert energy to ore. As it stands right now, I've got everything I need. So, uh, for starters, I, I get two actions. I'm just going to build twice. I'm not going to use my agent to help me. I will... Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit cheaper. I'm actually going to explore this turn. So, when you explore, you draw and play a tile and or, and it would never be or, always and, gain a uh, victory point. So I get a victory point because I'm exploring and I draw a tile and I'm hoping it's a force because I, I want a bunch of force on this. And if it's not forced, I'll put it over here. It is a gaseous or a volcano. I got rid of the volcanoes. Anyway, I want to make sure I have my chances of enough force over there to pursue my arboreal system. So I'll just put this volcano over here, out of sight, out of mind. Again, anybody has access, but nobody can build here because nobody is adapted to life on volcanic planets. So I did an explore. Every time you explore, you get some knowledge. You draw a tile. It's a two-sided. You pick which side you want it to be. Do I want it to be gaseous instead? No, I want it to be volcanic. Um, because again, volcanic, like arboreal, is more expensive to build on. And it's another opportunity to build all three. In case I fail over here, I still have a chance of doing it over there. So, um, and I will activate my good old industrialist buddy here who says, hey, when you explore, pay one resource to build an energy plant. Okay, I'll pay one resource. I'll pay, because remember, normally to build on an arboreal, it's more expensive to build an energy, requires two energy and one, so three total resources. Now I can just spend one resource instead of three and build my energy plant there. Boom, so that was a big savings. All right, so that was my first action. Now for my second action, I could use him again, but he only lets me build 
uh, energy and I need to build a mine and I need to build a colony here now. So I will now go on ahead and build a mine on this planet. M most plants you either, it's either mines or energy, but arboreal and volcanic it's both. So I'm going to build a mine and um, building a mine on an arboreal requires one ore and two energy. So two energy and one ore. And now I could activate my taskmaster to convert energy into ore if I want to, but I don't need to. I'll save him for another day. Remember also, I might never use him because at the end of the game, if I've still got five agents at the ready, that's two bonus points for me. Because remember, I mean, if I use them, I lose them. So I don't feel too bad about keeping him around and only using him if I really need him. So those are my two actions. I explored and got a bonus off the industrialist and I built. Now, provided Jen doesn't fill this last space, and I'm assuming she won't because, again, it's more expensive to build here. Even though she can, it's more expensive to build there. And if I, if on my next turn, I will be able to build my colony and I will have um, gotten my perfect balance. But let's see what Jen does. It's now her turn. And so Jen's like, hey, wait a minute. If I, I, mean, I spent time and effort adapting to arboreal life. Now, to be fair, she really came here to get an agent and... Um, and, you know, she was just keeping her options open. Does she want to build there? Um, the interesting thing is, no, Jen needs more energy production. Because remember, she wants to have three energy to use the scientist when she explores. And although she can't build anything right now, that's the thing. Jen, I mean, you can't build anything without at least some energy. So Jen needs to get some energy first. So the first thing Jen is going to do is going to harvest which is a reminder right here, get an energy for every energy facility you have, get an ore for every mine you've got. So Jen is going to harvest, she gets two energy, and she has nobody who benefits her when she, um, when, when she harvests. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, or maybe I didn't, when, both Jen and I have adapted once. When we were adapting, we could have used our Explorer, which would have given us an additional resource. Jen is kind of regretting not having used him at the time. But the nice thing is, He's a really cool combo. If you adapt to a particular type of planet that there are a lot on the board and then use him, you'll get a lot of resources. If you adapt to a planet there's only one of them on the board, you'll only get one resource. So you kind of want to wait for him, but early on you need those resources desperately. So Jen's kind of wishing she, because if she had used him when she adapted early, you know what, what the heck, let's just reverse time and say she did. When she earlier on adapted to my arboreal lifestyle, she used him, which gave her, since there's only one arboreal, she got one more planet or she got one more energy out of it, and she can use him one more time. So now that she's harvested, she's got three energy. This is a little bit more interesting. And now, so this is interesting. Jen now has enough. She could build over there, or she could explore and finally use this scientist. I think that's what she's going to do. Um, because if she builds over here, then she won't have the resources she needs to leverage the scientist. So Jen is going to explore now for her second action. She uh, see what she finds. It's an icy planet or a desert planet. Neither of us can build in either of these locations. Mm, um, let's see, and uh, Jen doesn't have any particular... Oh, actually, no. Jen does want frozen planets all over the place. So Jen will put an icy planet out. And what the heck, she'll go on ahead and put it over here. And I'm like, no, I need to put my arboreal planets over there. But anyway, so Jen put that over there. Um, she explored. Whenever you explore, you get one knowledge or victory point, but Jen is now going to activate old scientist, old toad type guy, and spend three energy to get two more victory points. All right. And Jen's still got a lot of ore. She can harvest again to get more energy to keep building, but she's used this guy, and Jen has twice as many victory points as me now. All right. So those are Jen's, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm so lucky I pulled it off. Right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build, and I'm going to build the first colony of the game, Right here, again, building a colony. Our colonies are always significantly more expensive. Four energy, three ore. And so that completely bankrupts me, but I built a colony. Now, I won't reveal this until the end of the game that I have achieved perfect balance. But yay, that's four points for me. Yay! Okay. And the interesting thing is colonies... Oops, I uh, took them from the wrong spot. Colonies don't do anything for you. Or mines and energy spaces, they let you harvest, like you saw Jen do, to get more stuff, to build more. Colonies um, are the timer for the game. Once one player has built all five of their colonies, the game ends right then. Um, 
So, uh, you got to keep an eye on your opponent. I mean, it's not like one of those things where, hey, the round ends, everybody gets one final turn. Uh, somebody builds their last colony, it's over on the spot. So, you got to keep an eye if somebody's like trying to rush the end because they're building a lot of colonies. But there's one other thing I haven't mentioned at all. Over the course of the game, the primary source of victory points are these missions. And we're trying, you know, we have these missions, we try to complete them so we can reveal them at the end of the game. So, look, we did this and we score points. The other main way of scoring points is system control. There are points to be had for having, there, it's an area majority game. Whoever has the most control of a given system scores that system. And in a two-player game, it's six points for whoever has the most control and nothing for second place. With three or four or five players, does it go up to six? I don't remember how high it goes. But anyway, there is a first and a second place. So here's the thing. As it stands right now, um, Jen has 1-2 control over the system. If the game were to end right now, Jen would get six points for controlling this system. I've got 1-2-3-4. Colonies provide two control. So I've got four total control over this system. So Jen and I are tied. We both have six points for the systems, but Jen's got four points of knowledge. I've only got two. But I've got four points for completing perfect balance. Plus, I'm still trying to work on getting two more forests over here for two points there, etc., etc. And of course, Jen, she's got her own points she's trying to pursue as well. So, I mean, this is not a super high scoring game. That's why Jen was willing. Two points could make or break you. So it was worth it to do that. Um, but anyway, so. That was my first action of two. I built my colony and I do a little happy dance inside. Now, the um, control of this system is still up for grabs. Ultimately, by the end of the game, there will be more planets here. Each planet has three places to build. Jen could build here and try to take control of this for me. So if she controls both of these systems, that's 12 points to her. That'll probably win her the game right there. Um, and you know, that could be something she goes for very hard. Uh, you know, if like she adapts to building on frozen planets and starts trying to build over here. And if I never adapt, then I can't build on here at all. And Jen could put, if she just puts two colonies here, she takes control of the system. So there's those kinds of considerations as well. But anyway, that was my first action and I've done it. Now for my second action, I got to start thinking about what I want to do. Um, I think for my second action, I will go on ahead and I could harvest, which would get me one energy and one ore, but I don't have any buddies who help on harvesting. Let's see, what's the current harvest guy? If I had this trader, I could pay ore to turn it into energy. And I already have um, the Taskmaster who turns energy into ore. I want to put myself in a situation where I can generate more energy. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? For my second action, I am going to... No, I'm not. I want to build. I want to build over here and start muscling in on Jen's before Jen completely fills this planet up. But to build here, uh, oh, yes I can do. I'm gonna build over there. I, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna explore again. I'm gonna explore the highways and byways of the galaxy. And remember, when you explore, you get a knowledge, which is another point, and you draw and play a tile. So I've gotten another knowledge, that's three points for me, and come on, show me a forest, show me a forest. Two-sided. Desert, gaseous. Ah, I'll put it over here because I'm still trying to keep my options for forests in that. All right, so anyway, so I've explored, but remember, I've got my old buddy, the industrialist. I'm going to use him a second time um, to pay my last bit of energy so that I can build an energy facility for free. So he's done. He goes back to the bottom of the explorer pile. He'll, we'll see him again later. And I spent that last energy to build my second energy facility on Jen's planet. That's the last place I could build because I can't build on icy planets or volcanic planets or gaseous planets. And in fact, actually, Jen can't build anywhere now until she adapts to gaseous or icy because both of these planets are now full. All right, so boom. That was very nice. Two turns. I've still got two guys. Remember, by the end of the game, I want to make sure I've got five guys on hand to score extra points. Um, now, one thing I want to do, because I put a colony over here, I never want to build colonies in gen system, because if I only build in one system, that's four points for me. And again, in a two-player game, there's no reason you wouldn't do that. With more players, and there's systems all over the place, and you're trying to get all those bonus points, building colonies elsewhere makes sense. But in a two-player game, yeah, the isolationist is really pretty easy to pull off. Again, all these need a tweaking and balancing for two players. All right, so anyway, I've achieved perfect balance. I'm still trying to get two more arboreals over here. I just can't find them. I'm exploring like crazy. I need all my agents. 
Um, and my isolationist, I'm definitely going to pull that off as well. But anyway, those were my two actions. I am done. It is now Jen's turn. And, um, well, Jen can't build her, but you know what? She can't build anyway because she's low on energy. So she needs to start exploring or start adapting so she could build elsewhere. But again, she can't build unless she gets some more energy. So she could harvest right now and get two more energy. But if she's going to harvest, she'd like to have an agent on hand who will help her out. Um, oh, and that's actually a really cool idea. So the first thing Jen is going to do is, is she going to conspire or is she going to adapt? I think she's going to adapt. She'll adapt to life on gaseous planets. So she has another place she can build in her own system. So she can, no, 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 no. She'll adapt to icy planets. So she can start building over here. I mean, she's, she's in the majority here, and if she starts building over here, she can maybe take control of this system away. So now she's the only one who can build here um, as she's adapted. And when you adapt, you get a new thing and you get an agent. Jen is going to hire, which one was it? This trader, this alien trader. This is her fourth agent now. She can have up to five. And now for her second action, she is going to harvest. She gets two energy because she's got two energy facilities. And this trader, when harvesting, um, convert any number of ore into energy. So Jen will use him to convert, oh, I don't know, let's say three ore into three energy. And so now Jen's got more than enough energy to pay the scientist again to get more points and still have enough left over to build a couple more facilities and start muscling in on my system. Boom! Thanks, trader. Um, and she gets one more use out of him, one more use out of the scientist, one more use out of the general. Um, and she hasn't touched her exploration league yet. Now, certainly, Jen just adapted again. So she could activate, she has one more use of the Exploration League if she wanted to adapt again. Um, but, again, she adapted to something where there was only one. So if Jen uses him right now, she gets one resource. If she waits and uses him when she adapts, if, if she waits until there's three gaseous planets out and then adapts to gaseous and uses him, she'll get three resources instead of one. So I think she's going to save him for later. I'm definitely saving him as well. Um, you know, pushing your luck on that. Plus, don't forget, I mean, heck, I might never use my guy because, again, I have a vested interest in ensuring that I've got five agents on hand at the end of the game. So I might just keep this guy around and never activate him. Same as my Taskmaster. So anyway, so um, those were Jen's turn. First of all, she adapted, didn't use her guy, waiting for a bigger. So now she can build here. Second thing, she harvested to get some energy and she converted. And now on her next turn, she can start building in my backyard, uh, the same way I have for her. And she could explore to get more victory points. And, um, and what she probably wants to do is explore to find more volcanoes or more gaseous so that she can get those into play so that when she adapts to gaseous or volcanic, she'll get more resources out of her exploration league. So those are Jen's two turns. It's my two turns again. And you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of what Horizons is all about. Now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.